A's world what is good gang gang welcome back to my channel my life my world my channel unique but hey man it's your girl A coming back in with another video hey y'all man I've been having a great great weekend man I'm so happy that my football team my basketball team is still good after 21 plus years um, I got to high school in 99 so y'all do the math you know what I'm saying my basketball team was good then <clears throat> And actually, prior to then, basketball team was good as well. We had a good wrestling team. So, all throughout high school, and of course, I played basketball. Basketball team was good. Matter of fact, we won the state championship in, I think, 02. It was either 02 or 03. Um, so, but yeah, man. So, this week, you know what I'm saying, was we, we going to the finals for football. Um, also, basketball season has started. Uh, my little cousin, Anaya McGee, the place for Overhills High School in Spring Lake, North Carolina. If anybody follows any, like, high school games and stuff like that, or, you know what I'm saying, you know anybody that resides in North Carolina, yo, check my little cousin out, man. She's a beast. She coming. Anaya McGee, number 10 at Overhills High School. But uh, y'all see her, you know what I'm saying, in the video that I'm finna drop or whatever, but... Yeah, man, I've been having a good time, man, just supporting my school. Like, I'm so happy to be where I'm from, which is Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, 2 6. If you know, you know. But, um, yeah, and then this coming Friday is, I think, when we go to the, the championship. So, we play at some school or some stadium that's in Cary, North Carolina. Um, shoot, shout out to Riley. You know what I'm saying? That's the neck of the woods. Y'all don't know, I just currently moved from there like a year ago. So, that's home. And between Fayetteville and North Carolina, I mean, between Fayetteville and Raleigh is only like an hour distance. It's only an hour apart. All depending on, you know what I'm saying, like where you going in Raleigh or, you know, what time of the day and stuff it is, as long as there's no traffic. But you can get there and back in an hour. But, um, yeah, man, so this is just an intro to the video. Um, I hope y'all like the content. Um, yeah, man, this is just... A recap of my week, you know what I'm saying, with basketball and football, just supporting my high school. Like I said, 71st, shout out to 71st. But, um, yeah, man. But until then, man, y'all stay fly, stay dope. Um, hey, I'll see you next vlog. Peace.
Hey y'all, A's World Gang Gang. Hey, so I got a funny story for today. You know what I'm saying? This is Dasher Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? If anybody dash, if you know, you know. You know what I'm talking about. The stuff that we go through is dashers. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so this particular story, I was out today, whatever, dashing. And um, I had noticed when I pulled up to this customer's address that it was dark. And then the dasher that had pulled off, it was a female, um, that had pulled off, I see that she had her, her, her light on her camera. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's dark as hell. That's why Shorty got the light on. So I pull up, you know what I'm saying? And I'm looking around, you know, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to try to proceed to, you know, his, uh, his porch or whatever and deliver his food. So then as I get close to the house, I heard a dog barking and I don't do dogs, okay? So I was like, nah, I said, Ashley, mm -mm. go back to your car, baby. Go back to your car. That was my sign right there. That's it. So I went back to the car, you know what I'm saying? Had my protection on me. And, uh, you know, I called a customer. Yes, I did. I called the customer, you know, because at this point, you need to come outside and meet me. It's dark as shit outside, and you ain't got no lights on at your house. Like, how you order food, but then turn no lights on? Who does that? Okay, you got me fucked up on that one, too. So, anyways, so he's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I come outside, so boom, boom, bam. Dude comes outside. It's a big, fat white dude to come outside and he like oh you know I'm, I'm sorry um what he say he was like oh I'm sorry I was on my laptop I'm like okay whatever you was doing in there playing video games whatever my mama instinct automatically you know what I'm saying just just came in like you knew you ordered food like you should have had some lights on you know what I'm saying so then you know whatever so I give him his food or whatever but I was just like no nah, baby like who does that like how you order food and don't turn the lights on like, it's dark outside. It's dark over here at your house. He ain't turn the lights on until he came out. He turned the porch light on, and then I guess like a light in the hallway. You know, you can pretty much tell. But, y'all, y'all be careful out here, though, man. If y'all dashers, you know what I'm saying, we all out here trying to make extra income, you know what I'm saying, for ourselves or for our family, our loved ones, whatever it is. But, you know, I just say this to say, just be careful and be mindful. If your instincts, you know what I'm saying, if you get out the car and something don't feel right, Call the customer, man. Either call DoorDash, you know what I'm saying, and just be like, yo, I feel like I'm in an unsafe zone. I'm in an unsafe area. You know, I, I, I'm not going to deliver. Or just simply just call the customer and just ask them to come outside. So, those are just some tips for you, you know what I'm saying. Those are just things that I have learned, you know, since I've been dashing. Um, so, yeah, man, I just want to share that with y'all. But that's just a funny, it's a funny story, you know what I mean. But, uh... Hey, I'm going to catch y'all on the next vlog, though. Y'all be safe. Be blessed. Y'all have a good weekend. Peace.